everybody. Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Wild Rose. I don't know. I uh, just found it. It, uh, it is about a Scottish woman who gets out of prison and goes to Nashville to become a big country star. I believe country star. Big singer. Uh, that's all I know from the synopsis. I don't know anybody in it. But I do know it is rated at 7.3 on IMDb. With 3,500 and some odd people have rated it. That's pretty high. So, for something I've never heard of, the actors, besides one actress, don't have any pictures. So, I don't know who's in this or anything like that. Um, but 7.3, I gotta check it out. You're obviously interested because you tuned it in. So, let me get into it a little bit. It's an hour and 40 minutes long, so I'll start watching it. Then I'll check back in, give you a better idea of really what it's about, and then ultimately what I think. So, stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Wild Rose. Sorry no check-ins tonight for a couple of different reasons. Um, wasn't sure how much it was necessary, and the other thing was I was falling asleep in the beginning of this movie. Now, it's a combination of the movie and a long work week. So, it's Friday night for me, and sometimes I fall asleep with these movies. So, that's not to say anything too bad about the movie, but in the beginning it was a little slow, um, and I wasn't as interested as I hoped I'd be at the beginning of this. Um, she, the, our main actress, her, her, um, actress name, her actual name is Jessie Buckley, um, and she plays Rose Lynn in, um, this movie. She's a Scot, for the movie, she's a Scottish, uh, um, she's a Scottish resident. She's in Glasgow, Scotland is where she lives, but she's a country singer. And, um, uh, the reason I bring that up is because they have very strong accents in this movie. Um, so sometimes it's really hard to understand what they're saying. And a lot of times I'd have to rewind a couple of times to try and pick it up. Sometimes I couldn't even pick it up. Um, and so when I'm watching it, you know, it's, it's kind of getting lost on me. Um, some of the things that are going on. But I think I got the, the most of it. I mean, it wasn't in a different language. It was just sometimes hard to, to hear. And that, that was, or understand, I should say. Not hear. I could hear them fine. But she um, spent some time. In, right in the beginning, they show her getting out of prison. Um, she was in prison for, I believe, um, for um, heroin. Not that she was using it. She was carrying it, um, I believe, maybe even selling it. But she spent a year in prison. Um, she has two uh, young children, eight and five years old. She's young herself in her 20s, and she has two children. Um, but has dreams of being a country singer and uh, wants to go to Nashville. So that's what the story's all about. It wasn't, I thought that she just, you know, sings, comes out of prison, sings and goes to Nashville and becomes this big singer. That's not, that was misleading. It is not that way. It's it's her journey and um, everything that she does in, in, an, in an effort to try and get to Nashville and become a big country singer. So, um, you know, it's about having dreams, chasing your dreams, that kind of thing. She also has a mother who kind of helps out with the children and stuff like that who uh, doesn't necessarily believe in her dreams, um, doesn't think maybe, you know, she should be going after country music. Um, meanwhile, Rose Lynn, our main actress, is doing anything she can, even... Um, you know, even in the negative impact uh, to her children. Um, so she starts to kind of neglect them uh, so that she could uh, become this big country singer. And things just start going in the wrong direction. So to, and, and she builds relationships, but she has secrets, of course, because she's been in prison, all that kind of stuff. So it ends up being a very entertaining film. Um, I don't think it was based on a true story or anything like that. You got that sense, though, a little bit, that it might have been based on a true story. Um, if you like country music, she's a, a phenomenal singer. Evidently, I read a little bit about her bio, and that uh, she uh, was a runner-up for a... Um, she's actually an Irish person. She was running her up for a BBC contest called I'd Do Anything. So she came in second for... I think she was going to win a role for a certain play. And uh, she came in second, but... Uh, you know, and she's won some other awards. She's uh, very talented with all of the instruments, or at least like piano and clarinet and everything like that. But she's actually from from Ireland, um, so but not that that matters. But she she was uh, very phenomenal. She's got a, a fantastic voice, I think. You know, um, so 
they have it. I thought it was entertaining. Um, I liked, you know, like I said, it was hard. It was hard to follow at times. It was also sometimes hard to, to watch as she's chasing her dreams and and putting everything else to the side. Um, but I think it it comes back around, and I think it has a good ending. Um, one that I didn't expect, but it was it was still worth the watch. So if if you like country music, if you like um, underdog type stories, um, I think you, you like this. If you like people with Scottish accents, you'll like this movie. That's what I got for you. That's the only piece that I really didn't bother me. It was hard to to understand. I almost wanted it to be, you know, closed captioned. Um, so, <laughs> um, but that's okay. So there you go. That's uh, I'm glad I watched it. Um, yeah, I'm glad I watched it, but, you know, I had some opportunities. There you go. That's it. I'm, I'm done. Check it out. If you do, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, I didn't recognize anybody else in it. There, uh, Casey Musgraves was in it. She's actually a country singer, and she was singing a song in it. That was it. Um, I didn't rec I didn't know anybody else in this movie. So I, don't, I think it's, a, it's probably not that well-known in the United States. It's probably a well-known movie maybe in Scotland. I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling on. I apologize. Um, but check it out, drop me a line, love to hear your comments, um, you know, like my channel, subscribe to it if you haven't, and thanks for tuning in, Kimmel's Irish Pub.